Hi guys, welcome to Gyan Vigyan Foundation's Ayer Academy and you are watching my YouTube channel Gyan Vigyan Foundation. So guys, today in this video, let us try to understand one another subtopic in physics that is about electrostatics. So friends, here we shall try to understand one another subtopic in electrostatics that is about the conservation of charge. So friends, here we know that when a glass rod is rubbed with silk, it becomes positively charged and the silk becomes negatively charged. The amount of positive charge on glass rod is found to be exactly the same as negative charge on silk. Thus, the system of glass rod and silk together possesses zero net charge after rubbing. So friends, the result and conclusion of this experiment can be generalized and said that in any given physical process, the charge may get transferred from one part of the system to another part of the system. But the total charge in the system will remain constant. So friends, this was about the conservation of charge. Now we shall try to understand one another topic that is about the forces between charges. Friends, here it was observed in the given experiment with charged objects that they experience force when they are brought very close to each other. This force can be of attractive or repulsive. The like charges repel each other and the unlike charges attract each other. This can be explained in detail by using the figure as shown. So friends, here is the figure which tells us about the attractive and repulsive force. Now we shall try to understand these stages of the figure. So the first one is about a rubber rod and a glass rod. Here if a rubber rod is negatively charged and the glass rod is positively charged and when they are brought very close to each other then they will create a kind of force which is called as attractive force. So friends similarly if we now change the charges like in the second stage we can see that the rubber rod is carrying a negative charge and the glass rod here instead of positive charge now it is carrying a negative charge. Now in this case if we bring both the rubber rod and the glass rod together then it will create a kind of force that is called as repulsive force. In other words, this will develop a repulsive force. Then similarly, if now we change the charges of rubber and glass, then let us see what happens. Here friends, you can see now the rubber in the third case is carrying a positive charge while the glass rod is also carrying a positive charge. In this case, now when the both rubber and glass rod are brought very close to each other, then they will create a kind of force which is again called as a repulsive force. So friends, in this way, we have tried to understand about the forces between charges. Now 
friends let us try to understand one another term in electrostatics that is about the scalar form of coulomb's law so friends here it states that the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges at rest is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so here friends let us consider two charges that is q1 and q2 so let it be two point charges which are at rest with respect to each other and separated by a distance small r then the magnitude f that is the force between them is given by f mathematically is directly proportional to q1 and q2 and also is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so therefore f is also equal to k into q1 into q2 and divided by r square where k is also called as the constant of proportionality so this can be further explained in detail by using the figure as shown so guys by now you might have understood my sub topic in physics and if you have understood my sub topic in physics then please like comment and subscribe my channel